Hello friends, my name is Prasad and welcome back to Adda Desi. In today's episode of University Life, we are going to talk about Stony Brook University in New York. But before we move forward, let me get done with my usual request. If you like the work we do, then please consider subscribing to our channel. This is completely free for you guys, but it will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and it will keep motivating us to make such informative videos in the futures. Also, subscribers can comment below which university they want me to cover next and I will surely make a video on that. Now that's aside, let's start with the application requirements. There are total seven application requirements in Stony Brook University. First, an online application that cost around $100. Second, academic transcripts. Third, a statement of purpose. Fourth, a resume. Fifth, three letter of recommendation. Sixth, a GRE score. And seventh, English language proficiency test that is your IELTS, TOEFL or PT score. Minimum English score requirements are as follows. TOEFL 80, Duolingo 105 and IELTS 6.5. Average profile for a computer science admit are as follows. GRE 321, TOEFL 104 and IELTS 7. Stony Brook University has an acceptance rate about 48%, reflecting a highly selective admission process. Next, let's talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. I'll take a computer science course as an example to talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. If you need specifics about your program, you can comment below and I will definitely reply to that. To complete graduation, one needs to complete a minimum of 31 course credits. This can take at least 18 months or 4 semesters. Total tuition fees to complete this 18 months of course for an in-state student would be around $23,210. And for an out-of-state or interstate student, it would be around $42,610. There are additional fees such as health insurance, campus fee and service fees which may cost around $2,000 more. One thing to note here is that this is just an estimate and tuition fees keeps on changing each semester. Next, let's check out the housing costs. But before that, if you haven't already liked our video, then please smash that like button. Off-campus housing offers affordable options, so many graduate students prefer off-campus housing. You can visit our website addadesi.com and find many such off-campus housing. The average rent for an entire two-bed, two-bath apartment could start around $3,200 and go up to $3,600. And the average rent for per person is around $1,500 to $1,800 per month. Average monthly utility bill is around $180 to $200 per person. You can also join a special Facebook housing group for Stony Brook University and connect with other international students. The link is in the description below. Next, let's talk about the transportation. Students can use free shuttle service or public transit bus for off-campus transportation. There is also Long Island Railroad service options available. The nearest international airport to SBU would be John F. Kennedy International Airport, which is about 50 miles from the university. Next, let's talk about on-campus jobs. Stony Brook has an online job portal for on-campus job application. You can apply directly in the portal using your resume even before you start the semester. International students can work 20 hours per week during semester in progress and more than 20 hours during vacation periods. Average pay at this university could be around $16 to $20 per hour. Pursuing a master's degree at Stony Brook University has various pros and cons. Some of the pros are as follows. First, reputation. SBU is well regarded for its research and academic rigorousness. It is frequently ranked among the top public university in US, especially in the fields like engineering, computer science and natural science. Second, location. Located on Long Island, SBU is relatively close to New York City, offering additional internship, jobs, professional and other cultural opportunities. Third, research opportunities. SBU offers extensive research facilities, including the Brookhaven National Laboratory and collaboration with numerous industries and institutions. 
there are numerous opportunities for research fundings and assistantships too. On the other side, there are some cons too, and they are as follows. First, cost. While SBU is more affordable than many private institutions, the cost of tuition and living expenses on Long Island can still be significant. Second, weather. The weather in Long Island can be cold and harsh in winter, which might not be appealing for, to everyone. Third, transportation. While close to New York City, commuting can be time consuming and expensive if living off campus or visiting the city frequently. Fourth, competitive environment. A competitive academic environment might be stressful for some students requiring a strong commitment to succeed. Stony Brook University offers strong academic programs, extensive research opportunities and a reputable faculty, making it an attractive option for many graduate students. However, potential downsides include the cost of living, a large student body, the competitive atmosphere. Weighing these factors against your personal goals and preferences will help determine if SBU is the right fit for your master's degree. Remember that individual experiences can vary. So it's a good idea to reach out to current students or alumni to get more detailed understanding of what to expect. At the end, as always, I would like to wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors. Please like, subscribe and comment to our channel. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram using the link in the description. Thank you.